What does it mean to be a failure? I gotta tell you, Sunday morning, September 29th, I woke up feeling like the biggest failure. <sighs> not gonna belabor it. I'm not gonna get too far into it. I just wanna let you know that on Saturday, September 28th, I dropped out 13 miles in to Ironman Maryland, 13 miles into the run portion. I had already did the two and a half mile swim. Where I got stung by a dozen jellyfish, <clears throat> which is terribly disconcerting. I did the 112 mile bike ride and then 13 miles in, I couldn't go anymore. I, I, I don't know if I ate something wrong or whatever, but I couldn't keep anything down. I was really, really sick. And uh, I don't, it came on so quick. I don't even, out of the blue. And I didn't think I was going to make it. I thought there was no chance. And so I quit. And I thought it was the, I was doing the best thing for me. And then of course, you know, the next morning you wake up and, I, and I'm just overwhelmed. I couldn't believe I quit. I couldn't believe. I mean, I spent six months training. I spent all that money, all that travel, all that time, all that commitment, all that bragging, all that talking that I'm going to do this other complete Ironman. And then to, to fail, to give up. I've, I, I've, I've given up a lot in my life. I have failed at a lot of things. I've uh, made a lot of stupid, poor decisions. And I've prided myself over the last six, eight years of no longer being that type of person. I am the type of person who means what he says and finishes what he starts, regardless of how it feels. And so to come face to face with the way you feel is really going to dictate what you can do. I mean, I, when you're... When you're broken, when you're injured, I mean, there were people on that course in that, in that aid tent when I went in there that had needed stitches and had broken bones. And I mean, they too, I guarantee they too woke up Sunday morning feeling like the biggest failure ever. I guarantee it. Because it's overwhelming. It, I can't believe I couldn't go on. So of course, me being me, I looked up on the internet. I'm like, there's got to be another marathon because I'm going to do another. I'm not quitting. I'm doing another marathon. And so I found one two and a half hours west in West Virginia. There's a, there's a marathon. It's a single track trail marathon up a hill. Oh, and by the way, it's downpouring. It's going to be a sloppy mess. It's going to be treacherous. It's going to be slippery. going to be a lot of, a lot of time on the trail. I'm like, I don't care. I'm doing it. Here we go. My September marathon. I'm going to take it one step further. I didn't just do a marathon to get my September marathon in. But I just signed up for Ironman Panama City. November 2nd in 30 days. It gives me 30 more days to get stronger. Good. Jocko willing. You know what Jocko says? If you fail on one thing, if it, if it doesn't work out for you on Saturday, you go, good. It gives me more time to train. Well, good. The last thing I'm going to do, the last thing I ever want to do is be the type of person that just gives up. Failing sucked. Pissed me off. It broke my heart. But earning a medal yesterday, that was badass. Getting back up the next day, driving two and a half hours, finding a marathon, doing whatever it takes to register, to get my sneakers back on and to get out there and run it, even though I failed two days earlier, that's the type of person I always want to be. In Ironman Panama City, you better believe your butt. I'm going to complete that, that Ironman. I'm going to complete that Ironman. Four weeks, you watch.